everyone, it's Tris and Belle back with another episode of What Are You Staring At? And today we are talking sport. How are you, Tris? I am so well. How are you going, Belle? I'm good. I'm good in lockdown in Melbs. I'm not surprising. We always seem to be in lockdown, but I'm okay. Oh, that's so tough. I do believe, not to make light of what you're going through, but you are puppy sitting. I am. I am. He's very sweet. He's an enormous, brutal golden retriever cross standard poodle huge buddy he's a sweetheart follow him buddy the grudel on instagram <laughs> yes it's been very fun to be dog sitting random shout outs well now i want a dog <laughs> and i think this is a perfect platform to announce that i'm getting a dog um because you know i've now been living in my sda unit for nearly a year and so wow. what better way to celebrate than get a, a papa Oh, I'm so excited. This is wonderful. I'm going to come to Brizzy and visit the papa. You have to, but everyone should also uh, comment their name suggestions. Um, oh, yeah. Because I, I need all the help I can get, guys. But anyway. Do you have any ideas? N- no. I'm not going to leave people <laughs> on. They can, mm. they can figure it out. They can let me know. And then we'll do a poll. How about that? Yeah. That's, no, a, that's like a good call. It. I like it. Let's uh, do it. But today's episode, we, as you touched on, at the top, of today's episode we are talking about sport we thought what better time to just talk about sport than when the olympics and paralympics are on right now yes on tv they are happening currently go watch yeah. and support our wonderful athletes everyone everyone should and although that we are not at that level at that no, paralympic level not quite <laughs> um we thought that we'd share our own sporting experiences with you because uh there's a little bit of adventure there's a little bit of intrigue um but specifically we want to explore how a sport's been adapted for me whereas how you've adapted the sport to you yeah i've sort of made myself work for the sport rather than the sport work for me (laughs) um Um, but yeah you're a power chair foot power chair football like professional basically not a professional. Truth, I think professional implies <laughs> I get paid to do it um but I purely do it for the love of the game but I love it I've been playing sport since I think I was four I went to a camp there were all these older athletes that showed me the ropes and I was instantly hooked from the the age of four um I've been so lucky to play power chair football most of my life which is like a hybrid version of um pinball and soccer and go-karts it's weird um, I we, love that description yeah I, I think that's that should be the promotional slogan for every competition that we go to um but we have massive guards around the front of our chair we hit a ball at uh 40 50 k's an hour um and it's amazing Could do some damage it, it can do um it has done um my face has been hit before but that's okay because this is a podcast and no one needs to see my face the oldest joke in the book um but (laughs) it's uh it's what's so great about it is as you touched on it's it's competitive it's fierce it's it's everything that I didn't think I would be able to do um being a really young kid in a wheelchair and to have this outlet to then be able to travel the world um meet people with the same conditions as me from uh, the USA to the UK to um, the Americas. It's it's such a phenomenal experience and something I uh, am so lucky to be involved in. Um, yeah. And I suppose being in the Paralympics, we want to get it in the Paralympics. So we're working towards yes. 2032, which is in Brisbane, my home state. Yeah. So what better synergy it, do you need? It has to happen. I'm so excited. But then I was thinking about that the other day, that it's in 2032. And I was like, I wonder if I'll be like, taking my kids to the huh. olympics and paralympics to that stage because that's like 10 years away i don't know i, I mean i quite like that i don't know what's happening but what i find crazy scary to think about is that i'll be in my 40s that's that's what's cool. scary for me you'll be my age ladies and gentlemen watching, <laughs> there will be on my age and i'll be in my 40s which is something that petrified. yeah um no, it's going to be so fun. We'll be like mature and wiser, still podcasting potentially. We'll be, <laughs> be up so to good. episode 4,000 or something like yeah. that. <laughs> um, but I'd, I'd love to get the panel because the reason being is that it, it's adapted to every type of disability. So we have mm. the MVP in the world in Australia, um, Mr. That's Krim, so who cool. drives with his feet. We've got a gentleman in WA who drives with his chin. Um, and nice. it's such... 
a customizable support uh, sport, but when we're on the court, our disabilities don't matter. We just get into it. Um, yeah. We sledge. We go for beers after games. <laughs> it's everything we want sport to be. Yeah, an equaliser, wonderful community. It sounds so good. Because I was thinking, like, would I be able to play if, like, it's canned controls, if you need both? But if you can do it with your feet, I could even do that or Done. something. So this yeah. is, I think, I think this is, if we get enough love for that suggestion, yeah. um, I'm more than happy to get a chair and throw you in that chair <laughs> and <laughs> Let's compete. Let's do it. And we'll record we can an, have episode. an episode. Done. <laughs> um that would be so funny I mean you'd smash me for sure like I, there's no way that I would be competitive but I, I also remember <laughs> in great. your uh our transport video you saying that you're not the greatest driver so I am scared yes. for my own well-being but that's beside the point yeah my uh my housemates are surprised if I don't hit the curb when I park at our house that's more unusual than me hitting the curb every time <laughs> it's a skill so I, I think that can be your um uh, advantage against me. You'll just be yeah. competitive and just hit my chair all the time. Uh, yeah. Done, sorted. Well, yeah, I'm not good. I've, I'm not really a team sport girl, Tris. I'm more of a more of a solo sporter. But and what a segue. <laughs> what a segue. What a let's, segue. Let's, it's almost let's like divert I planned it. <laughs> my promotion, my sport into what you did. How have you made sport work for you? Well, I played a bit of everything in school, primary school, high school. I was water polo basketball netball I played like one game of netball and they wouldn't have me back um, I did cricket all sorts of things but I tended to um play alongside typically abled teams and typically mm. abled um people um so I was like playing in those sorts of leagues and, and and failing very poorly not because of my arm but just because I'm not that good at sport but in my in my adulthood in the later years I've really got late years I'm 22 I've really gotten into going to the gym um which I know sounds so like ugh, shut up but I'm not a gym bro I promise although I'm an aspiring gym bro <laughs> um so I have really gotten into weightlifting in the last year um whether it be squats whether it be deadlifts all of those sorts of things um and I started it over lockdown because my little brother saved up for like two years to get himself a home gym um and bought it for himself and so I was doing it in lockdown which was super cool and it gave me just like the time and space to be like right let's figure out how I can balance a heavy squat rack across my back and not fall over or injure myself and yeah. support it with my arm and what sort of like straps or attachments do I need to do deadlifts um, and it was, it's been like such a mental as well as a physical challenge of trying to figure out how to do all of the different things, but it's so much fun. And like, when you get to the end of like a workout and you've like lifted a new weight or something, there's just like such a sense of satisfaction. Like I, I, I did something, I achieved something. It's so good. Um, and then I've transitioned from doing it at home to going to the gym near me which was a bit scary to be honest because at home it was only Hugo being <laughs> Hugo's commentary which can be rough but like there's the unconditional it love comes there from a familiar siblings. place yeah, yeah exactly so it's fine whereas at the gym you do get the occasional um gym bro who has a really helpful opinion about how to lift with one arm because obviously all of their years of having one arm has really their assisted own experience them in. <laughs> absolutely yeah yeah um no they'll watch me for about two minutes and reckon that they know how to do it better and I'm like thanks guys really appreciate it um I never actually say anything to them because I am not that good at confrontation but that's my that's I'm working on it um I'm always like thanks so much for your advice and then I proceed to not follow any of their advice um but no it's really great and like I have had some people who have contributed in really constructive ways and professional gym instructors who are people who are paid to be there and assisting people who have been super helpful and creative in figuring out different ways for me to do stuff and just enabling me which has been so cool and I love it and it's so fun to do yeah I, I sport um, I think brings us so much joy, all the science behind it, you know, all those yeah. endorphins, endorphins. And, <laughs> and that jazz that I know so little about. Um, but yeah. what was interesting there when you were talking was the, the fact that I often say to people, I don't play disabled sport. I just play sport. It's um, no matter what it is for you and for me, it's just an outlet for us to, to, mm. to work on ourselves, to work on various skills. Um, and it's a really powerful thing. And um 
finding innovative ways to overcome some of the hurdles that we might face because of our disabilities. Um, Definitely. And I think like, yeah. And like, as a person with a disability, our bodies have so often been like questions or the subject of conversation and like speculation. And so to get to do something with your body, like have that physicality and be like, I'm going to lift this heavy weight or I'm going to play power chair football, kick the ball at like 40 kilometers an hour. And like, it's kind of a reclamation of like physicality and strength and those sorts of things. And I think that's part of what I love about it is being like, I'm doing this with my body for myself, getting strong. And it's so good. Um, and on that, it doesn't have to be sport for everyone. Yes. I mean, we, we've gone on this tangent because of the Olympics, the Paralympics, because we love it. But <laughs> there are so many other avenues for everyone else at home to be doing things that they love to do, um, whether that's in the yes. arts, something more creative, um, even if it's something just as simple as, you know, getting out and going for a run or something like that. Or, or a Yeah, war. literally. Oh, the worst pun in the world. Yeah, <laughs> a role. Um, I should be so ashamed of myself. Um, there are so many outlets, <laughs> though, for, for everyone. So don't um, hmm. limit yourself to sport. I remember reading something, and we're going to have to fact check this, uh, but I'm going to say about, anyway. is this, Are you about to say the Olympics and a painting being in the Olympics? Yeah, so well, the I don't think same thing. painting, <laughs> but I swear the Olympics used to have a creative like division yeah um I'm, I, I'm sure there was gardening and poetry in there i don't know about <laughs> painting um i'm i'm claiming this i'm putting it out into the world i'm i'm i believe it was a thing yeah People can, let's uh, bring uh, it back yeah. even like yeah. love it <laughs> um, so good so yeah no matter what it is even a bit of beat poetry do some beat poetry guys um like slam poetry busted out slam poetry yeah great awesome yeah um yeah but yeah that's <laughs> That sport, bam, done. Everything That's the covered. Mic drop, except it stands up by itself, which is very helpful. <laughs> yeah, for those for those listening to the podcast, we have new professional microphones. Um, yes. Which if you think up. my voice sounds better or more annoying, this is why. <laughs> this is this is why we sound so crisp. Um, yeah. But we'd love to hear in the comments all the sports that you play, the activities that you love doing, so that we can share that with everyone because. Um, you know, the more awareness we raise around what's out there, the more opportunities there are for people to do those activities and find something that they love, which is the whole purpose of our chat today. Definitely. See you guys. We hope you have a wonderful week and find us on Spotify. <laughs>